All right, we're back again with part eight. So let's continue. We were moving points, and I'm sure we'll be doing it for the next 15 minutes, if not more. But hey, everyone loves moving points all weekend long, don't they? So let's just get in here, get our hands dirty, and see what we can come up with. So we're just trying to get the overall shape here. No doubt it'll come out terrible, but we can deal with all these things later. Okay, so these are actually in the wrong place. There we go. And this can come over here. And if you see things like that, like those little artifacts that you just saw, you should be afraid. It means there's going to be issues later. More or less. Can't guarantee it, but... I wouldn't put any money against it. Okay. Just come in here and try to, you know, follow the same line that you have. It's the best way. And try to get your things as evenly spaced as possible. That way, um, you'll be saving yourself some effort. Because once the mesh smooth happens, this is not going to be uh, smooth. Alright. Sometimes you just kind of have to work with the points putting more in the centers or more on the outsides, whatever you uh, deem necessary. Alright, so there we go. We have all of our points. Now, I'm going to actually select this ring and connect it with one because over here this is not going to fly. And you can just kind of refine the mesh with that extra line. All right. So let's see how this works. Um, yeah. So select all those polygons on the inside. And the best thing is to press Q so you don't accidentally move any. Ooh. That's interesting. You can kind of see the general shape is here, like that, not looking that bad. Go to perspective and select the same things on the opposite side. Ooh. I feel like they're not even here. They gotta be here. So just kind of try your best with your selections here. more of a guessing game at this point anyway. Uh, comes over here. Two, three, four. There we go. Now, pray and press bridge. So there we go. We have something going through a model. I watched it blow up. Yeah, that's probably pretty bad. I don't know. I can't even see it really. That's too much. Uh, let's actually go into shaded and see what we have. Well, it kind of looks like something, but not not really. Because there's nothing really to stop the edges from coming in. So now what we have to do is, let's go back into isolation mode here. Uh, isolate selection, editable poly. Okay, um, we're going to break some rules here, I think. Now you know what we should do. Let's undo some stuff. Okay, now that we have all the polygons selected, let's do an inset by a tiny amount. 
And then, let's scale them inward. Shh. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. Cancel. Um, so we inset them. And then we control select edges. No, that won't work. Go to polygons. Let's extrude them uh, inward a bit. Okay. Check. Now bridge. This way we'll get more consistent results because we'll have lines. So now if we go here, oh, look at that. That, my friends, is a perfect design. You just saw it right here. That's an epic win. I did not think I could do that. Booyah. Well, there you go. That's how you make designs. Just like that. If you did this with booleans, you'd be crying in your sleep right now. You'd be having nightmares and, ooh, that's, that's, I'm gonna have to s quit this. This is, this is too good. So, delete this mesh smooth for a second. And copy, mirror on the uh, X. Okay, uh, bring it close in. Okay, attach. Whoa. What the? Okay, save, save. This epic win. You just gotta save this. So we attached. I'm going to your vert text mode here. Front. Select these things. Weld. Uh, oh, what are we welding here? Okay, there we go. Okay, apply mesh smooth. Perspective F3. And there we go. We have the designs. See how simple and easy it was? It took us what? 22 minutes to do this. And now, if you compare these designs to the ones they have, they're pretty close. I mean, not exactly the same, but, you know, we can't be perfect. You can adjust it to whatever you want now that you have the basic uh, thing done. So, let's, um, hmm. Let's we delete these tops again. Ah, yes, and this you can get rid of now, your little line. So just drag it over, copy, uh, mirror on the Y, actually it doesn't really matter what you're doing. It'll work either way. Left, F3, and line it up. Okay, perspective, shift drag, Okay, uh, you can delete this line too. Oh, see this is why I hate this stupid thing. All right, 90 degrees, uh, go into your front. Mm, w, and drag it, line it up. Go to your left hand viewport, and line it up here. Okay, go to your front viewport again, and shift drag it over. Okay, copy and save. All right, so here we go. This is what we have so far. And this is basically our main lantern. Um, now we can begin the texturing part. Actually, let's just do this so we know. Create a plane. And you're going to want it on the inside face right here. Okay. And this is going to be the kind of rice paper. This stuff right here. And I don't think it extends here. I figure these are probably for venting as well. So, create an editable poly out of it. 
just bring it down to call it here and bring it over until it reaches the edge. Alright, actually you can just sink it right in so I don't get any bleed coming from it. Okay, and then bring it down right there. Select all your vertices and just sink it in a little bit more. So that way it won't bleed over there either. Okay. Now I'm pretty sure we're going to have to select this and press flip so that it's facing the outside. And I don't know, I'll have to work with that later to see exactly how the textures work here, but copy. E, rotate 180, W, and, huh, okay. Just sink it in a tad, shift drag, E, 90, okay, I think this is the left, it is. So you can press F3 and just line it up. Okay. That's pretty good. E, shift drag, 180, K, front, W, ooh. It's a little bit tough. Um, I don't know why I have two, but. So F3, there we go. Oh, that's why I had two. This one is not done. Damn. Alright, we'll just sink it in, the same as the others. Okay, and mirror on the x-axis. I think. Okay, material, let's just click, 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 and click, and then go here and press A. You know, that never works. It says A, but... Oh. Let's try this again. A. 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 Nope, doesn't work. I don't know why. Assign to selection. There we go. So now, this is all the modeling work done. Control A, and just make everything black. Easiest to view. Alright. And if you want to make yourself a little easier, what you can do is just, on the iterations here, turn them down, and then render values, turn them up. That way it'll just let you uh, more easily deal with the high geometry. So, let's see how it does this change it. Save, uh, bring it down, and then render one. So, down, render 1, bring it down, render 1, and last but not least, bring it down, render 1. This also, we can bring this to say 1, and uh, render 3, or oops, 3. There we go, now our computer won't spaz out at us, even with 8 cores and 16 gigs of RAM. So, here we go. Everyone be happy. Um, our basic thing is done. Render it out. And... Probably won't even see anything because there are no lights. And V-Ray doesn't like not having lights. So, let's see. Can I build a plane? I can build a plane. Top. W, move, P bring it down okay and let's just quickly add a light the ray light click w uh, bring it up let's just see if this will render anything out now well there we go it rendered something out but you can see the normals are flipped on some of those planes so we'll fix it later i will see you in the next part